Hi everyone, I'm John, the CEO of Dragonfly. Today, I'll be walking you through one of my favorite features of the Dragonfly web platform, our first to market advanced order types that allow you to automate your risk management strategies and frees you up from constantly monitoring the market. So first on our list is a stop limit order type. Currently, a few other brokers already have this feature, but I feel it's worth explaining since this one is vital for the more advanced order types that follow. The stop limit function allows you to automate your strategy of buying the breakout or cutting your losses short when the trade works against you. Let's give an example to help concretize this. So let's say I'm a trader whose strategy involves buying stocks as they break out of a well-defined pattern. Let's use ICT for this example. After executing a double test of the 200-day moving average, ICT creates this ideal setup that I want to buy as a stock breaks above the 201 price per share level. The way I would structure this order would be for me to place a stop limit with a stop price at 201.2 and a limit price at 202. So let's set that up. So here, I select the stop limit order type for the stop function, which is essentially the pivot. I enter 201.2 and the limit price of 202. Essentially, what I'm instructing the system to do is for it to send a limit order at 202 once ICT hits 201.2. So when I hit confirm and send, as soon as ICT hits the pivot price of 201.2, the platform will send a limit order at 202, which means I'm willing to buy ICT between the prices of 201.2 and 202 per share. So on the flip side, after my order for ICT is executed, I now want to manage my risk by entering what is known as a stop limit loss order. So looking at the chart again, let's say I want to put a stop loss order price when ICT breaks the 191 level here. So the way I would structure this is again, I would, instead of the buy order, we hit the sell order. We still use the stop limit order for the pivot price. We hit 190.8 with a limit at 190. So as soon as ICT hits 190.8, the platform will send a limit order at 190. Your order will then be executed between the prices of 190.8 and 190. It bears noting that for more li liquid stocks, you want to make the difference between the stop and limit prices wider to ensure that your order gets executed as intended. So illiquid issues or stocks that trade infrequently normally have a wide bid ask spread that tend to skip the normal price fluctuations of the stock. So normally what I would do instead of just putting a, an 80 cents difference between the stop price and the limit price, I would place a more than one peso and 50 cents difference. So moving on, to more advanced order types and conditional orders that you will only find in Dragonfly, such as the OCO, which stands for Order Cancels the Other. To help remember this order type, think of it as the Take Profit Cut Loss Combo. So again, using ICT as an example, let's say our earlier order was executed at a price of 201.6 pesos per share. 
So instead of just placing a sell stop limit order, as in the earlier example, I want to simultaneously place a take profit order and a stop loss limit order. The way we would structure this is again, let's click on the plus button, hit OCO. Here, we can cre create a limit order for let's say 230 for our take profit order. And we still use the stop loss limit order of 190.8 with a limit at 190. As soon as one of these orders gets executed, the system will immediately cancel the other order. So for example, if we are fortunate enough that ICT climbs to 230, so the stock will be sold at at least 230 and the, the system will automatically cancel the stop limit loss order. What if you currently don't have an existing position? and you don't have time to monitor the market the entire day. You can also enter an order known as OSO, which stands for Order Sends the Other. Think of this one as the buy and sell combo. So again, you want to hit the plus sign at the lower left hand portion of the order entry widget. Hit exit single. Using ICT again, you can either enter a stop limit order for the buy side or an ordinary limit order. So let's say for this situation, we just want to buy it immediately. So we enter a limit order for the current market price. Then for the other side of the order, we have a stop limit at 190.8, limit at 190, same as what we executed earlier. You can take this even further by automating all three orders. So after hitting the plus sign again, you hit exit OCO this time around. This brings you to the OSO OCO combo. Best way to remember this is to think of this order as the buy, take profit, stop loss trio. Again, let's use ICT as an example. So here, I'm entering my buy stop limit order for ICT, which I want to buy at the breakout price of 201.20 with a limit price at 202. Then I create sell limit, take profit order at the 230 price we mentioned earlier. Lastly, I enter a stop limit loss order at the break of support at 190.8 the limit at 190. When I hit confirm and send, I'm able to place a buy stop loss limit order, a take profit limit order, and a stop loss limit order simultaneously. This order type actually allows you to create more than three orders simultaneously, as you can see here. The system is future-proof for when more intricate trade setups are allowed by the PSC. For example, when the PSC finally green lights short selling, you can create multiple trades in opposite direction or what is known as mean reversion trades. That, however, is beyond the scope of this demo. So these advanced order types allow you to automate your risk management strategy, taking your emotions out of the equation. It also obviates the need 
for you to constantly monitor the market while you attend to other pressing matters. Basically, that is it for the day. Hope that I was able to explain the advanced order types well. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out via email at help at dragonfly.ph. Thanks for watching.